Hello all my teens out there. This is Miss Melody at the King Public Library here to bring you your last summer learning program. So this is going to be air dry animal and your paper will say magnets but I have actually decided to make mine into a necklace. So you can make yours a magnet, a necklace, a keychain, a pen, anything you want to do with it. So what I have here are just some materials that I needed. So I have my air dry clay called Model Magic. Um, I just picked it up at Walmart. You can actually use any modeling clay, um, any of the air dry. You want to make sure that you get the air dry clay because you want this to dry pretty quickly. So, and you don't want to have to bake it or anything. So that's what this is. This is something that you can model with and it will dry by itself without you having to bake it in a kiln or in an oven. Um, I also have um, my key rings in case I wanted to make like a keychain. I have my leather um, strapping so that I can make it into a necklace, which is what I'm going to do. So that's optional. That's whatever you want to make yours into. I also have um, a hot glue gun and glue sticks in case I need it to glue on the magnet bag or the pen bag or however you're making it, you might need a hot glue gun. Um, I have paint brushes and paints and a palette. Um, I have browns, blacks, whites, blues, reds, pinks, purples, and green. I also um, have, it says paper plates on here, but what I did is I just spread out some newspaper and um, it says sample um, pictures and what I have here is called Clay Lab for Kids. It is full of all kinds of really cool animals and one of these is a leaf. You can make leaves. You can make just about anything out of clay that you want. So check one out at the library today. Um, there's lots of different Clay Lab books. I just got this one um, in our delivery today. So, you know, if you can't find one here, just tell one of us at the library and we'll order one in for you. It has all kinds of really neat activities, um, things that you can make with clay. And if you don't feel like getting a book, just Google something. You can Google what does a turtle look like and you can make a clay turtle, which might be what I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna make a turtle and a snake today. So, I have gotten all of my materials gathered, <coughs> excuse me, I have everything um, right here ready to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to break open our clay and we're going to start modeling. Alright guys, I wanted you to be able to see what my hands are doing, so I have moved you over here where you can see what I'm doing. So I've opened my clay up here. This is what it looks like. It feels very like foamy. And you're really gonna have to work with it because it feels like foam. So you're just gonna have to get it going really good. And I just wanna show you real quick. If you take it and you start rolling it, gonna roll it you make sure to spread at the same time that you're rolling because you want to get it nice and even because you don't want a lumpy snake lumpy snakes won't look good you want him to be nice and smooth so I think I'll make his head down here and the rest of them will just be his tail. Okay, so I've got my nice long piece here. What I am gonna start doing is I'm gonna start twirling him so that he looks like he is a coiled snake. All right, look at that. He's gonna look so good. And 
I'll show you what I'm gonna do where I'm gonna put the um, the string for my necklace because this is gonna be my necklace right here so make sure to get them all nice and coiled up so right here I'm just gonna leave a little open spot just like that and that is going to be my snake's head right there so let's get him a nice little pointy nose and see I left a little hole to run my string through right there just like that and I'm gonna put a little fingernail slit right where I want his eyes to be so there is my snake. How cool is that? And once he dries, we can paint him all green and purple and whatever colors you want. So there is my snake. So I'm just gonna put him over to the side. All right, guys, I thought our next one would be a turtle. I really think I want a turtle. So I just got me another ball of clay and I'm just getting it work really good where he's pliable and I'm gonna pull off, I think I'll split it in about half. So I'm gonna roll him up into a little ball. I'm gonna make him flat on one side, kind of like that. Just like that. And you know how it looks like a turtle shell has like a little roll around the edge where his turtle shell kind of comes up like that. It almost looks like I'm making a dumpling, which you could make a dumpling if you wanted to. <laughs> you could make, um, I, I saw somebody making sushi out of clay the other day and I was like, well, how cute to make little clay figurines of sushi, and um, it was really cute. So I've got my little turtle shell, just like that, and it'll look more like a turtle shell once we get to paint it. But right now, that's what it looks like, just like that. So now he's gotta have a head and a tail and feet. So I'm just making little balls. And for, that's for his head. And for his feet, you little feet, you want them littler. So just make them a little bit smaller. Yeah, for his little feet, there you go. Yeah, now we're gonna have to have four of them. So I got my four little balls for his feet. I've got the big one for his head, and all turtles have a little tail that sticks out. So I've got his little tail. So we'll start with his tail back here, and you're gonna stick everything onto the bottom of it. So then I've got his little feet here. I'm gonna kinda squish it in there, but without squishing it too much. And I've got his other little foot on this side, just like that, and you just wanna get it in there, just like that. Make sure it's connecting real good because you don't want it to come off, and once this dries, they shouldn't. They shouldn't come off, they should be there forever. But if they do, you can always glue it back on um, with a hot glue gun or something. So there's his front feet and his back feet just like that right there so he's got four feet and a little tail and right here is his little head I'm kind of gonna give him a little bit of a pointy head because you know he doesn't have a perfectly round head Gonna just come back in here and 
There's my little turtle, you guys. And then later, after it dries, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's painted, um, because that's where you'll get some definition and dimension from it. It'll really kind of highlight the turtle shell. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just putting some little divots in his shell. So it looks like a real turtle shell. And you can do this with like a, a pencil or a pointy stick. I'm just using my fingernail. It works just as good. Use the tools that you have right here at hand. And then we'll go across, and then we'll go across. And then when we come in, to, when we come in later after it dries and we paint it, he'll, um, I'm gonna paint him green and brown like a little box turtle. So there's my turtle, just like that. How cute. And what do y'all think? Maybe, maybe a fish? Oh, I think a fish would look good. So I'm gonna start with a circle just like I did before. Just a little circle. Except I'm gonna leave him like a circle. I'm gonna get a little bit more of my clay. I'm gonna get it all worked in here. Okay. So, let's see. I'm gonna do a little goldfish. That sounds like a good idea. So, we're gonna start out with what looks like a little stone. Just a nice little flat. We're gonna make that his face right there. I think we'll take it, we'll spread out this tail a little bit. Just like that. Oh, this is gonna be one of those pretty goldfish. Spread it out some. I hope I'm not shaking my camera too much when I'm hitting the table here. Just like that. Okay, so there is her tail. There is her body. And she's gotta have another little fin or she might not look like a fish. So we'll put a little fin right here. And then most goldfish have a top fin as well. So let me see if I can figure out how to do that here. Oh yeah, that looks great, just like that. All right, we got our fins. And see you guys, it's, it's just that easy to make something. And just your imagination can run wild, you can make whatever you want to. Like I have a goldfish and my little turtle and my little snake. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these things dry for 24 hours, so overnight. So tomorrow I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna paint these guys. All right guys, here we are 24 hours later and all my little clay figurines are good and dry and hardened and they're ready to paint. So that's what we get to do now. We get to have the fun of painting them. So I'm gonna change my camera angle so that you can see everything I'm doing and we're gonna to get to painting. This is where you get to be creative. What color do you want your snake? What color do you want your goldfish? Uh, do you want a green turtle or a brown turtle? I already have plans for my owl. He's gonna be purple, which is my favorite color. So I think we will start with the snake. So I've got all of my supplies at hand here. I have my palette and my paint and all of my um, paint brushes that I might need. I have different sizes so that I can get fine tip or if I just need to do, um, like paint the whole thing, which is where I'm gonna be at on this one. I'm gonna paint the whole thing green to start with. See if I like this color green. Oh, I do like this color. It's very nice. 
And um, I was just reading the back of my uh, air dry clay. And it says once these are dry, you can use Crayola markers, you can use paint, you can use glitter pens to decorate this. There's just so many things that you can do with this. But what I'm using is acrylic paint. Um, but it's all different kinds of stuff you can do. And once these dry, I'm going to turn some of them into magnets. I'm going to turn some of them into jewelry. This one's going to be my necklace. He's definitely going to be a necklace. He's got the little hole to put the, um, the string through. And you want to paint both sides so that if it happens to flip over, you don't have a white side. You actually have green on the other side too. So what we'll do is we'll let one side dry and then I'll flip it and paint the other side. Oh, and I, all right, you guys, I just wanted to throw this point in here. I did not like how these paints turned out. They didn't give a good coverage like this paint did. Um, so I would probably go with an acrylic paint or like I had said with um, what it said on the packaging, uh, Crayola markers. But yeah, I would definitely go with an acrylic paint versus I think this is watercolors, I'm not sure but an acrylic or a tempera paint would work great. So that's what I'm doing. I've switched to acrylic paints. I have many different colors. So I'm just putting a base coat on everything. And when I get back, that's where we'll be at. So see, I've got a nice green base coat. How good that acrylic paint looks. I don't like the way this looks, it's too thin. So I'm gonna go back over it with a different paint. Once we get it all painted, we're gonna put in some details like eyes and mouth and shell um, patterns and fin patterns and things like that. So that's, once we get the base coat on, we can do some more uh, fine detail work. All right, everybody, I've gotten my um, first coat on. I'm gonna do another coat on these because you can still see the white through them. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna do another coat. But my turtle and my snake are really good. Um, they covered really well on the first try. And um, what I'm gonna do with them next is once they've dried, um, I'll probably let them dry for about 30 minutes to an hour before I add detail onto them. And I'm gonna let these guys, these guys dry for about 30 minutes before I put a second coat. Um, and remember what I was telling you, this is, what I'm using is Crayola modeling clay. And on the back of the package it says, once these are dry, you can decorate them with just about anything. They suggest acrylic paint or Crayola paint. They also suggest Crayola magic markers, which I was kind of surprised. So you could just like color these without even having to get all this paint stuff out, which would be really fun. I think I might do that on my next one. Um, so I'm gonna let these dry, put a second coat on, let these dry, do the detail work, and that's where we're at. And so when we come back, hopefully I'll have my second coat done, and maybe even um, we'll get started on showing you how to do some detail work, because I'm gonna show you guys how, to, how I'm gonna detail these. All right, you guys, everything's good and dry. It's been overnight. Uh-oh. Oh, he's stuck. You gotta be careful with that um, when you're doing them because some of them might stick just like that one. But that's okay, that's where I'm gonna put the magnet anyway. So, I've already come in and done a little bit of detail work by putting some orange on my turtle's head and feet and tail. And now I'm gonna get all my colors out and I'm gonna start doing start with some um, detail work on my snake and my turtle. And like I said, you know, you can, you can make anything, you can do anything. Um, you don't have to do animals, you could do something else. Uh, in that clay lab book, there's all kinds of good ideas. All right, you guys, I have come in here and done a lot of detail work. I kind of wanted to show you how I'm getting my 
multicolored effect here. So I have a nice thin, small brush. I'm picking my color, which is red. And then I'm just coming in and streaking it. So I get that really cool multicolored effect. And it doesn't take much and you don't want to do too much because then you just kind of get a, a blobby brown mess because once all colors mix together it's going to be this brown blobby yuck. So I'm just coming in and adding my last finishing details on them here. A few little green scales just like that. He looks really good. I really like how my fish has turned out. Give him a little nose hole there. A couple more scales, just like that. Oh, he is very pretty. Also, I have come in and I have painted some stripes on my steak. He almost looks like a peppermint. I have also got his eyes and tongue and nose in there. So, you know, make it your own. Do whatever you want. I got a nice green and orange turtle. I might add a little bit extra to him. Maybe with a little bit of this blue here. I'm just gonna come in and hold him. And I'm gonna go around the outside of his shell with blue. I'm gonna pick a different brush. I don't like this one. Uh, there we go. So it's very important to get the right size brush so that you don't make a mess. As you can see, I'm coming in, I'm just putting a blue ring all the way around his shell. in like that see just like that and when I get done with him I'll have him a nice blue um, outside to his shell and just be real careful with this is precision this is make sure that you're coming in and getting exactly where you want it to be or you're gonna have to come in and clean up a mess with um, with your orange and your green. You're gonna have to come back in and do that. Oh, and try not to hit your other works of art because I have a crowded workspace here. But I like the blue on the outside of my turtle shell. So I'm just gonna come in and make sure to get in between his feet and his tail. Try not to get any on his tail or his feet. Like I said, you know, just make sure you have the right size brush. And what I was talking about, you know, earlier was you can use Crayola markers to do this. You don't have to worry about paint. Um, Cause paint can be messy and it can be time consuming. And cause you have to let it dry in between coats. Um, you know, you have to come back in and touch up. If you see any spots that you missed. And final touch for my little turtle here is I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna give him a little mouth. Cause he's gotta have a little mouth. I'm gonna touch up his eyes. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this. I'm holding one hand on top of the other so that I don't shake. So as you can see, I've come in and I've gotten blue all the way around his shell. So now he's orange, green, and blue. So like I said, you know, make this your own, make it unique, whatever color you like. I love my fish. So our next step is to let these dry. Once they've dried, we're gonna come back in and we're gonna get a hot glue gun and we're gonna make some of these a magnet. I'm gonna get my string here and I'm going to make him a necklace and I'm going to put a magnet on the back of him. 
And like I said, you know, you can make yours whatever you want. If you have um, jewelry pins, you can make one of these a pin. You could just glue a little closure pin right here on it and it could go on your shirt and be your little turtle pin. We have one last thing to do to all of our clay figures before we can say they are done. So, mine are all dry. I've cut my necklace to the right length. What I'm gonna do is I want him to stay in one spot. So, I'm gonna put a little knot down here. There's my necklace, just like that. Now I've got my hot glue gun here warmed up. Yep, ready to go. So I am just gonna get my hot glue on here. I've picked out the right magnet for each one already. And then I'm just gonna give it a good squish because I don't want him to go anywhere. I want him to stay on here really good. You know, with with hot glue guns, you'll have some strings to, to pull off. But there's my owl magnet. He's all good to go. Next, we're gonna do my turtle. So we're just gonna give him last little bit of glue there. running low so I got to get another stick out here so I can get enough glue on there flip him over and I am one of those people I would rather have just a little too much glue than not enough so I'm just gonna hold him tight like that till he dries enough So he's good to go too. Now with my fish, since he was so long, I have two, one that I'm gonna put on his tail and one that I'm gonna put onto the back of him. So get my hot glue here. We're gonna stick one on his tail and you don't want nobody to see your magnet, so make sure he's completely behind your figure. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing, just like that, right there. Alrighty, now I've got my three magnets and I've got my necklace. And they're all finished up. How awesome were they? They're very cool. Let me turn around where you can get a good look at it. So, as you can see, my magnet's on the back of it. And you can make presents or just make your locker unique at school. Make you some magnets to put on your locker at school. Or make your mom a gift. Um, these can be for anything, so. What a neat little craft. All right guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this craft. As you can see, I have my neat little necklace on and I have my pretty little fish here. I hope y'all make something just as neat as I did. I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.